Pyrethrum farmers have reported the need for improved seedlings, incentives and protection from the government. This is in an effort to revive the dead pyrethrum cultivation practice. Farmers and local manufacturers who use the plant to make insecticides and pesticides, they have reported a gap in supply, hence a weak environment for investment. We should not actually look like um, we want to produce pyrethrum for export. 18 counties are growing pyrethrum. The people involved there are about 200,000. When you have the multiplier effect along that, about 2 million people are involved in pyrethrum production. What has happened is that um, there has been a skewed resource allocation towards the revival uh, efforts that have been uh, taunted and spoken over time. Pyrethrum investors are now on an awareness campaign to educate Kenyans on how chemically made pesticides and insecticides are causing diseases. These can nonetheless be changed by the use of organic products such as pyrethrum. And since Kenya has created a free market where investors can compete and produce better products that are deemed safe by the regulating bodies, the field is now leveled for farmers. Chloropyrophos which is a, ke a, a chemical that has been confirmed to cause brain damage in young children and also cause cancer and other uh, kidney and, and other neurological diseases. This information is well known by the, by the Pesticide Control Board, but nevertheless, these harmful chemicals are still available hence on sale in the country. Even though the Peredra market has not yet changed, manufacturers are urging Kenyan farmers and youth to embrace Peredra farming as a form of employment so as to create the needed raw materials for the return of the cash crop. Shereen Solitaire reporting for K24 TV.